Hi guys, it's Lancia. Welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since I've actually sat down in front of the camera. It actually took a while to set the camera up, but I am today filming to give you a much needed study abroad update. Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, so the last video I think I did about my study abroad was the um, me getting placed at Kyushu University. Um, yes, yeah, so I guess for people who are new, because there's a lot of new subscribers since then, I will be doing a year abroad at Kyushu University, uh, which is in Kyushu, Japan. <laughs> the program's called Japan in Today's World, and it just looks incredible. I'll be learning Japanese, uh, Japanese history and also like sociology, culture, just all that kind of stuff and it's just, it sounds amazing. Um, but I've got a few updates before I get onto like the actual nitty gritty of the course. Um, just things I've needed to really talk about that I just haven't because I've been a bit unsure. I mean the universities have been a bit unsure, like there's a lot of uncertainty due to... But uh, yeah, I can finally give you some kind of like actual answers or like actual things I know are certain basically. Uh, so I have a little like book with me here because I've got a few dates to remember. Um, so let's just start with like a little bit of a recap. So I think it was the um, so like the 7th of June that I got my formal acceptance from Kyushu University. So this is after I applied to the university there and I said I want to do this course and um, my partner university is Leeds you know, I had to write a whole thousand word essay about why I wanted to do that program and they had to basically go through, check everything's okay, read the essay, make sure like I actually do want to do this course and I got accepted which is great. The actual acceptance though, um, we were supposed to find out earlier. I think we were supposed to be given like paper um, acceptances so like a lot of countries um, like in Asia, their universities like to give paper-based um, acceptances but uh, because of the pandemic, uh, those acceptances were like never received. I think it's because the university's um, study abroad office where they received the mail, I think it's like closed or maybe like people aren't really going as much. Um, so basically, they, I think we do have physical ones, but I don't actually like, I've never seen it, I don't know where it is, but instead our university um, actually managed to email Kyushu and we're like, okay, are these guys in or not? Because honestly, for a little while, I was actually worried that I didn't get in, but I did, so it's okay. Um, so yeah, on that day we got the email saying that we're officially accepted. Oh, I was so happy. I don't know if I, I don't think I actually filmed my reaction, but just like imagine me being like really happy and excited. <laughs> And then on the 1st of June, um, let's have a look, yeah, oh, not actually 1st of June, 1st of July even, we were told, um, like, an update, I guess, about how the programme was going to be delivered. Um, it's, it's really annoying, but, like, the first semester is going to be completely online. So I'm, I'm not going to Kyushu. <laughs> I mean, I'm still studying abroad, technically, but... Yeah, I'm not going to Kyushu in October or September. Um, so yeah, first semester basically runs from October to like end of January and then like their holidays is like February to March. So yeah, for that entire time, I will be studying online and I feel like I've done that last year. I mean, you can see some from my old vlogs about like studying biomedical sciences. Just, it's not that exciting, not gonna lie. I mean, this probably is going to be more exciting because I'm learning Japanese online and it should be a different environment, new information that I'm going to be learning. But it's also a bit annoying because, like, the last thing I want to do is be stuck in my room again. Which kind of brings me to my next thing. Um, so just because the course is online, nothing's actually physically, well, at the time, like, nothing's stopping me from going to Japan, apart from the fact that their borders are closed and they're not accepting tourists. So I guess there is something stopping from going to Japan. But basically, yeah, if that wasn't happening, if Japan's borders were open, I do think that I would just go to Japan anyway. I obviously won't go to the university or like even step on campus, but I could like live in Japan for some time, like maybe like on a tour as like a tourist, because as a British citizen, you can spend up to 90 days visa free in Japan and a few other countries as well. So I wanted to do that, but with the borders closed, that's just, that ain't happening. But there are other countries whose borders are open. 
and I kind of want to go there, like go to a country and do my online studying there, just because like the time zone difference as well. Japan, I think the time zone difference is like eight hours? I think so. I think they're eight hours ahead of current British summer time in the UK. So it's just quite a while and uh, I don't want to deal with us. I mean, I already have like had some like, what's it like, introductions kind of thing with Kyushu University. So we had like a laboratory and that was based like on Japan time. And then like, I just had to wake up really early just so I wouldn't miss it, just because of like the time do zone difference. And I don't want that when I'm studying. So I'm hoping that I can go to one of these university, uh, go to one of these countries where the time zone isn't as crazy. Um, yeah, I won't tell which because it's it's completely in the planning stage. Oh yeah, as well, um, that just reminded me that there's some other people on my course who were doing the JTW uh, program. And um, so two of them have actually dropped out and then there's only three of us left so it's me and two other girls so one girl said that she wants to stay in the UK and then this other girl um, that I'm really good like getting to know really well she also wants to basically leave the UK because we just both can't stand being here while studying online also like we want to make the most of our year abroad like this is like a once in a lifetime kind of opportunity I'm not really gonna study abroad like with my degree anyway or like just have this basically this freedom basically I don't see enough opportunity like it so we both want to like both find somewhere to go abroad and we're currently planning that we're looking at like airbnbs looking at flights like contacting the embassy like absolutely everything we just we're planning yeah and like when things are a little bit more solid and we've like got some actual like decisions like in store almost to say like I would love to like just uh, like really excited and like tell you like where I'm going and stuff um, but for now I'm just gonna be waiting basically to find out hopefully I'll know by the end of August what's gonna happen um, let's have a look on my list of things I don't want to forget um, I think that's everything really I guess for the next half of the video I uh, hope so um, can show you like what I have received so, like some of the emails I got one today actually it was really exciting about the course like what like modules are available how many I can take like credit load like how they're assessed like all that kind of thing so it's really cool to see that and I actually got some official like acceptances like letters but they're just like in PDF form so <laughs> I was like I'll like edit it in so you can see um, yeah, but it just looks really fun. I'm just currently like looking through the modules and deciding which ones I, I want to take. And also for like the Japanese language courses, originally I was gonna start from absolute beginner, but I've actually like nearly finished the Genki textbook, which is like maybe coming up to N5 level, which I really do want to take the, the JLPT in December if it's open. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take a, because, uh, what's it called? A proficiency test because I'm not an absolute beginner, but I'm like, I don't know everything either. I'm just, I'm still like in a beginner, but I'm not an absolute beginner. So I think I'm going to have to take the, um, this like proficiency test that the university does just so they can put me in the right class. Cause I don't want to do beginner's class if it's just like repeating everything I've already learned. But then likewise, I don't want to go into a really difficult class and I know nothing. So yeah, the place placement test is definitely something that I need to do, but I also want to like actually do well as well. and. If I could go from like not being in the beginner class, like that would be amazing. If not, I did not mind learning the basics again. But yeah, I'll just show you the courses now because they look really interesting and I've already written down my favourites. So here's the acceptance pack. Um, I just called it acceptance packet because I didn't know what else to call it. But yeah, basically um, I got these free documents uh, for an email. And I think about three of them or so, just like welcome or like congratulations for being accepted and then like the most interesting one <laughs> I'd say is this one at the end called the JTW academic um I can't read what that says because I don't actually have my glasses on right now but yeah I'll um, open it and we can go through it together so this is what it looks like it's just in a pdf form and I think there is 20 pages of this uh, which sounds like a lot but they're actually like all quite um detailed and needed I guess like it's not just random information so yeah we have the course requirements 
Um, just like the grading. Oh, the courses, that's really interesting. Yeah, so here are some of the um, modules I can do. Uh, if it's focusing, yeah. These are all the modules I can do. The ones with stars are the ones I can do like on demand. So I think that means like they're not live, which is really great for um, like not being in person. So like if the time zones are different, I do think it'll still be a problem as like on the syllabus, it says that some of them have lives and also presentations as well. So I did not want to be doing a presentation at like 6 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Cause that will just kill me and we can just i can already tell it won't be good so yeah anyway these are the courses uh originally i chose um in my application i said i would prefer to do contemporary japanese society i think i, I can't remember i might have said japan and globalization uh, definitely japan life through tea ceremony that one sounds really good and in person it was actually gonna be like in a proper tea room and like physically like acting it out and like learn all the etiquette which I thought was really cool. I'm not sure how it's going to work online but I'm very interested in learning it. Modern history of Japan. I really do want to learn the history of Japan because I don't actually know that much. Um, this course actually looks quite difficult and also for me history is not my strong point. Like when in GCC I was um, given the option of either geography or history and I chose geography but right now I'm going to do history and I'm going to try my best. It looks really difficult but you know what can I say? And then I think I also was interested in self and identity in contemporary Japan. And that one's pretty cool. Did I say education as well? That one sounds really good. Basically, those are my favourites. And you're supposed to take six courses per semester. And um, out of those six courses as well, two of them have to be from this list. And then you can also take like other ones as well. So like, you can take language courses. So I think out of the six, I'm going to do... Um, maybe like four from this list and then two language courses obviously like Japanese language courses and I think that's what I'm gonna do is just decide on like what level so I'll just um, move on to like the levels of the Japanese courses and you can see like what I mean by the different levels all right so here are the different levels um, obviously beginner is like is the top and then like most advanced at the bottom so for me personally I think I would either be in the beginner class or elementary one Apart from that, I do not think that I'll be like any higher because I am not that good. Although I've been studying every day, which I'm quite proud of. And actually like really just forcing myself to like, you know, do the hard stuff and learn vocab and practice grammar. But I'm actually like really getting into it and I really, really enjoy it. Maybe more than my degree? I don't know, don't tell my lectures. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Japanese courses and... Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna aim high. So I'm gonna aim for like elementary one level. But um, after the placement test though, if I don't like manage to get like a high enough score, I do not mind doing the beginners ones. And either way I'll be doing kanji uh, one to two because levels one and two I think are put together. I absolutely love kanji though. So like, yeah, I'm gonna take that one regardless. And then for the other one, I think I'll just do integrated in kanji. Um, yeah very very excited and that's the little overview of the course i really hope like you kind of understand how the course is set out because i'm not very good at explaining it um but yeah that's basically how it's set out i think when i like actually apply and like get a little bit more detail about the courses and when i can show you like my everyday life study i think it'll make a bit more sense how the courses work um Oh, but I think it isn't too hard to understand. Hopefully, anyway. Yeah, and that's basically the update. I can't really think of anything else I haven't said. Basically, right now, you know as much about it as I do. <laughs> I guess this is just like a much needed update. And I, I... I won't be in Japan, but I will be somewhere. And I really hope that's like that's still like interesting for you guys and also like so interesting to see how I will learn Japanese and like what my study methods will be for that and anything that like any tips and stuff that I can give out to help other learners although I am just a beginner myself so don't take anything too seriously that is say I guess um yeah I promise it's still gonna be really exciting I'm still gonna show you my daily life doing it even if it is online um but hopefully yeah if I am in like 
in a different country and stuff, I'll be able to show you like that country and I think if you're interested in Japan then maybe you'll also like be interested in this country because it's very like close I guess. So yeah I really hope that you enjoy the next upcoming videos, they're probably just gonna be me doing like a summer vlog or me just studying Japanese and then by the time it gets to October it's gonna be me studying like at Kyushu online obviously but like yeah studying with Kyushu University I'm really excited to be studying with them like it just looks like an incredible university I mean the program's still amazing I'm just so ready to like learn as much as I can and just like become proficient in Japanese and also if I do take the GLBT that is definitely something I am definitely gonna um document for you guys because I haven't seen that many like people document like they're in their N5 probably because it is N5 it's not like a huge deal but to me it is so yeah um until next time, <laughs> until the next video, it'll probably be a vlog. Um, not gonna lie, I really do love making vlogs. I hope you really like watching them. And also, can we just get like a round of applause for like getting 5.5 for like K on, I think it's like one of my study in Japanese videos. Like that's absolutely insane. It's kind of scary as well, cause like 5,000 and a half is a lot of people. But yeah, like, yay! I'm so glad you guys liked the video. I'm glad YouTube is promoting it. And I just I hope you enjoy the rest of my videos. That's all I can say. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye!